Hey you guys, it's me, Miska, and I'm back today with a video. We are making baked shells. Now this is for like, if you have a taste for lasagna, but you don't feel like making lasagna, you can make this instead. And if you wanna see how, stay tuned. All right, you guys, first we're gonna start off by cutting our vegetables. I have some onions here, some garlic, and some parsley. What I left off, the footage that I lost somehow, was the footage of the meat that I used. I used two pounds of meat, I used one pound of ground beef, and one pound of ground pork. You can replace it with whatever you want to replace it with, but that's just what I use. And how you want to prepare it is saute some olive oil. Once you get done with your vegetables here, you toss in your onions, let them cook out a little bit, then you want to toss in your garlic. Let it cook a little bit until it's fragrant. You don't want to burn it. And then you add in your meat and season it to your liking. After you're done cutting up all of your vegetables, we're gonna move on to our cheese mixture. I'm using ricotta cheese, grated Parmesan, mozzarella cheese, sea salt, a little pepper, and an egg. So you wanna add all of your ingredients into your bowl. I used about 15 ounces of ricotta cheese in this mixture. And you just want to mix it around until it's all creamy and you know you can add more cheese add less cheese i used about two handfuls of mozzarella and i used about half of the container of parmesan cheese but honestly it's to your liking whatever you like less cheese more cheese it's your world Now we're gonna move on to our shells. You wanna salt your water. I use the jumbo shells. Again, salt your water cause don't nobody want no bland pasta. Now you don't wanna overcook your pasta. I would say undercook it about two minutes because you are gonna bake this so you don't want mushy pasta. Right now we're adding our meat into the cheese. You can see the onions in there. You can see the garlic in there. It's looking real good, but we got to combine them flavors and have it looking real nice. It's a mixture of the meat, the cheese, and this is what you're going to stuff your shells with.
as you can see, it's looking real good. We're gonna add a little more cheese. I'm, I'm seeing where it needs some more cheese. So we're gonna toss some more cheese in there. You wanna look at recipes as just the foundation because everything I like, you're not gonna like. And everything you like, I'm not gonna like. So you can omit some stuff or you can add some stuff, whatever you wanna do. This is just the foundation. Now our cheese mixture is done, our pasta is done, we're ready to assemble. We're gonna go in with the Rao sauce. I love Rao, it's the closest thing to fresh, I feel like. It's the tomato basil flavor, and we're just gonna coat the bottom of our dish with some sauce because you don't want your pasta to stick to the bottom of your pan. So you wanna coat it so that it's easy to take out when you're ready to eat, honey. Now that we have our pan coated, we're ready to assemble. You just wanna spoon in the amount of meat that you would like in your shell. I like my stuff to the brim, okay? Cause I'm trying to eat. And so we're just gonna keep stuffing until our pan is full. Yes, stuff, 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 honey, stuff it. Yes, girl, put it in there. Y'all, this is a little messy to make, so you gotta excuse my hands. And boom okay just like that a little YouTube magic for you so now that you have your pan full you want to coat the top of your shells with the pasta sauce the pasta sauce girl is the spaghetti sauce or the tomato sauce the tomato sauce child cover the top of your shells with the tomato sauce and you want to get it real saucy that's how I like mine now if you don't like yours super saucy then you know skimp out a little bit but I'm finna go in with the sauce because I, I don't want it dry. I don't want no dry food. After you're done with your sauce, you can go in with your Parmesan cheese as much as you like. Again, it's your world. After you're done with your Parmesan cheese, you want to go in with your mozzarella. Now that we are done with our cheese, this is ready for the oven. At 425 degrees, you wanna bake it for at least 30 to 45 minutes. And then I figured I would throw in a little salad for y'all. Um, I love the Olive Garden salad. The Olive Garden salad is so good. It's so basic, but it's so good. So anytime I have pasta, I try to recreate it at home. And y'all know iceberg lettuce ain't got no nutritional value to it, or it's probably little to none. So I would have to throw in a little spinach to make it substantial. So yeah, that's what we're doing. A little cucumber, a little onion, a little tomato, a little Parmesan cheese, and Italian dressing. And yes, honey, we recreated the Olive Garden salad.
and just like that you guys we are done look at that don't it look so good look at the top and how the cheese just melted and toasted all good we're gonna scoop some out make a plate so y'all can get a close-up of what's going on here You guys this is my recipe for baked shells i hope you enjoyed it if you make it let me know leave a comment tell me what else you want me to make until next time you guys